Now in this question then, we're given the quadratic x squared plus 3px plus p equals 0. And we've got to find the value of p then if this is to have equal roots. Just as a quick reminder though, remember that if you have a quadratic of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the roots x can be found out by using the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Now, it's the value b squared minus 4ac which controls the number of roots or solutions that you get. And if the roots are to be equal, that means that we need to square root 0. So, for equal roots, let's just put this down here, for equal roots, the discriminant, as we call it, b squared minus 4ac, must equal 0. So, what are a, b and c? We can list them up here. We can say that if a equals, well a is the coefficient of x squared and it's going to be 1. b is the coefficient of x and that in this example is going to be 3p. And c is the constant on the end which is going to be p. So, for equal roots then, b squared minus 4ac should equal 0. So if we substitute our values into here, we've got 3p all squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is p, must equal 0. Clean this up, 3p all squared is 9p squared, and minus 4 times 1 times p is going to be minus 4p and that equals 0. Factorise this quadratic equation by putting out p as a common factor and you've got 9p minus 4 and that equals 0. And then this would lead to either one of these factors equaling 0. So therefore either the p equals 0 or 9p minus 4 equals 0. Well we're told that p is a non-zero constant so therefore we know that uh, since p does not equal 0 we must have 9p minus 4 that equals 0 so if I add 4 to both sides we would therefore have 9p equals 4 and divide both sides by 9 and so p equals 4 ninths. There you go. That brings us now to the end of this question.